Veterans Day gives us a chance to thank those that served our country, and vets young and old always have a lot of interesting stories from their time in the military. News 11's Peter Terabrelli caught up with a few who were wrapping up a weekend stay at Ephrata's historic Smithton Inn. As part of a bed and breakfasts for vets program, veterans from across the country gathered for an enjoyable weekend, but the best part of their experience was sharing. I think the best thing is that we had an opportunity to visit with all the other veterans that were here, especially around breakfast and hear some of their stories. And last night we were talking about uh, uh, World War II and the uh, air raids. The stories were diverse. Everyone kept you in suspense. I was stationed uh, in Fort Lewis, Washington when uh, President Kennedy gave his famous speech. Our unswerving objective, therefore, must be to prevent the use of these missiles against this or any other country. All of a sudden, we started getting alerts. Now, I was in a Hawk missile battalion. Before we knew it, we were boarding a train for a top secret location. The veterans don't mind sharing. In fact, many of them hope that younger generations want to learn. At the time I was in the service, we had the draft and so forth. Many of these young people may never even be in the service because they have to volunteer to go in. So I think knowing what experiences have taken place in the past will help them to decide uh, whether or not they want to volunteer in the U.S. military. Not only would having breakfast with a vet be beneficial for the young, but for the veterans as well. For them, it's a treat to see where their brothers in arms have served. I would spend weeks just sitting here talking to these guys about their history because you got to know where you came from to know where you're going. This whole experience is something that I'm going to do year after year after year after year. They hope to be back next Veterans Day. So if you'd like to hear their stories about how they helped shape our country, grab your closest vet and ask them to share. For News 11, I'm Peter Tarabarelli.